Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak. In this episode, we are going to learn what are adjustment layers for in Photoshop. I'm going to show you two examples and you can repeat the same with the, with the files that you can download from PSD Touch Plus. And with these exercises, you'll see the power of adjustment layers and to work with adjustments non-destructively in Photoshop. First, I would like to increase the contrast of this photograph and I'm going to choose levels from the adjustments panel here on the right. If you don't see the adjustments panel, just go to window and choose adjustment. This panel is only available in CS4 or CS5 and it's not available in previous versions but if you want to use the adjustment layers in previous versions you can always come to the layers panel and click on this little icon at the bottom and from that you can also choose adjustment layers. So now I will choose levels which is the second adjustment icon here on the panel and if you remember from a previous episode I showed you if we reset the white point and the black point on the levels histogram we can increase the contrast of the image but the difference now that we are using an adjustment layer is that we have this adjustment saved as a layer so we can always turn this off to see before and turn on to see after I just zoom a little bit closer to this image to see before and after. Instead of using this adjustment from the image adjustments menu, it's much better to use it as an adjustment layer. If you want to use another adjustment, you can click on this arrow in the adjustments panel to go back one step and to select another adjustment layer. Now I will use vibrance, which is this one first in the second row and I increase vibrance to pump up the colors in the image. So I will increase it up to 100 and I turn it off to see before and then turn it on to see it after. I took this photograph in Glasgow and it's a pretty good joke from someone who put this cone on top of the head of the statue. But I would like to emphasize this part of the photograph so I will turn everything else into black and white and I would like to only see the colors on the cone. For that I'm going to use another adjustment layer called black and white. So I go back one step and I choose black and white, which turns everything into black and white. But as you can see for every adjustment layer, we automatically have a little mask which we can use to define which parts of the image we would like to address with these adjustments. If you don't need your adjustments panel anymore, you can double click on it to close it and to concentrate more on the layers. So now I will choose my brush tool and I make sure that I have black color in the foreground and then I start drawing over the cone in the image to see the colors on the cone again. If I turn off the black and white adjustment layer, you see we have colors on the whole image. If I turn it back on, we will see colors only on the cone. Masking is also a great non-destructive feature in Photoshop, but I will talk more about masking in another episode. If you want to see the photographs without the adjustment layers, you can alt click on the eye icon on the background layer. This was before using the adjustments and this is after using them. Again, alt clicking on the eye icon. I would like to show you another example uh, with a photograph from a friend of mine, Alan Morris. He took this photograph, which is a really nice picture of this tiger but we can enhance this photograph by using adjustment layers. Although before using adjustment layers, I would like to crop this image with the crop tool, just to practice a bit using the crop tool. I select the whole image and then I shift drag one of the corner points 
This makes sure that I don't change the aspect ratio of the photograph, but I would like to make a better composition by using the rule of thirds and putting the tiger on the second third on the right. I press enter now and this is my new crop for the image. Then I will go to my adjustments panel and first I will choose the levels again to increase the contrast in the image. I reset the black point. I increase the black point a bit like this. Then I go back and choose Vibrance to increase the saturation or the intensity of the colors. Then I go back again to choose another adjustment which is called the Curves, which is a really useful adjustment if you want to increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. By clicking in the middle and moving it up, you can increase the brightness easily, something like this, and you can even color correct an image which we are going to discuss in another episode but I just quickly show you that if I go to red channel and I increase red I increase the reds in the image and then if I go to blue and move that curve down I can decrease the blue intensity on the image and as you can see we have much better colors now if I want to see again without the adjustments the original photograph I can alt click on the eye icon this was before and this is after using the adjustments and the great thing with adjustment layers is that I can always come back to these adjustments separately and make changes to them so for example now I selected vibrance layer I can change the vibrance I think I used too much, so I just decrease the vibrance a little bit, like this. Or if I want to add more contrast, I can go back to levels and I can increase the levels a little bit even more. So this is how you work with adjustment layers, but of course I will talk more about them later because I'm going to use them a lot in other examples. But for now, it's enough to know the basics, how to work with them. In the next tutorial, I will talk about color corrections. So if you want to learn more about things like white balance, which is what we did with the tiger and the curves adjustment layer here in this tutorial, then make sure you come back next time. Thanks a lot for your attention.